everybody, it's Matt from the house, and I'm here with Jason from Burton, and we're gonna climb the Burton ladder for women's bindings and uh, kinda see what you're getting for the money you're spending. Let's check this stuff out. All right, right off the bat, we're gonna start with the Citizen coming in at 160. Uh, this binding is a great beginner binding. It's been in the lineup for a long, long time. And uh, what are we getting for that 160 bucks? All right, so yeah, true women specific designs here because you know women's feet are narrower, so um, the boots are narrower. So to get that gapless fit, you know we make those adjustments in making narrower base plates. Uh, we make lower high backs because women have a lower calf than men, so yep. it's just uh, not gonna dig into the back of their legs. And also, you know we. Uh, size the straps accordingly, just so it you know wraps around and fits with the boots a lot better. So they're you know um, a true women specific design, but the base model here in the Citizen is just a real smooth, soft flexing binding with the polycarbonate tray. It is the reflex base plate, so it's going to flex well with the uh, the flex of the board. Uh, it does have the injection molded React strap, which is new to the Citizen this year. So a little bit more comfortable, uh, a little bit more durable, and they just they work better than the old you know stitch style yeah, you know straps sure. that sort of thing. Um, injection molded uh, toe strap there as well, which you know all this injection molded stuff just makes things a lot uh, more eco friendly. There's just no there's no waste in, in reproducing that stuff. So aluminum smooth glide buckles, basically uh, everything you need in a binding, nothing you don't. Perfect. All right, next up we're gonna check out the Scribe. Uh, this one's kind of, uh, this one's coming in at 210. This one's kind of that, you know, all mountain, go anywhere, do anything, and uh, super good bang for the buck on this one, right? Yeah, totally. So you go to this one, you jump up to 30% uh, glass loaded nylon base plate. So it will drive any of the boards in the line. So if you uh, spent all your money on a nice, you know, feel good camber board, um, you know, the, the Scribe will definitely, you know, drive, drive that board as well. So, um, other than that, you get a little bit, uh, a little bit stiffer, more responsive high back with the uh, adjustable uh, dial of flat, is like what we call it. So it's easy to adjust the forward lean of the binding without having to respace your heel cup, uh, that sort of thing. But injection molded straps, you know, aluminum buckles. Um, so basically, just more responsive, a little bit more comfy. Yeah. So super good bang for the buck. That intermediate, even to advanced rider that uh, you know wants to get a good, good binding, but maybe doesn't have the coin to drop on some of the more expensive stuff. All right, jumping up to 260 for the Lexa. This is probably one of the most popular bindings uh, in the women's lineup for mm -hmm. uh, for Burton, and you know, definitely a good high end. You know, even intermediate end, but definitely up into that advanced rider. Um, so at 260 bucks, uh, what are we getting in this one? So here again, like we said, it'll drive any of the boards in the line, just like what the uh, Scribe had. So it's got that you know nylon reinforced uh, tray. You do go to a more responsive ankle strap on this one. You get the hammock strap 2.0, so you got this little spine through here that adds for Response, but then you have the hammock, um, you know, that adds like the comfort and acts like padding. So a nice, super clean high back on there with the dial flat and forward lean. You know, again, canted high backs like what we have in all of our bindings. Um, but yeah, it'll basically work for any board out there. So a killer price at uh, at 260. All right, next up we're gonna check out the Lexa X at 300. So if you like the Lexa, you like the sound of it, but maybe you want a little bit more aggressive ride, uh, you know, this is definitely the answer. So jumping up to uh, 330, what, uh, what are all the fun things we're getting on this thing? Yeah, so one kind of um, thing is like, you know, just because it has the X on it doesn't necessarily mean it's more responsive. It just means that you're just getting a little bit extra performance out of it. And with the difference between Lexa and Lexa X, uh, you have the same stiffness of base plate. They're both available in uh, the Reflex and the EST versions. Um, but with the Lexa X, you're getting you know a little bit extra dampening in the heel. You're getting that um, you're getting that heel hammock in there that you know grips the back of your boot. So benefit of that is it grips the back of your boot. You don't have to crank your ankle straps down as tight. Uh, so you just get better better comfort overall. And you're also getting the asymmetrical hammock strap on there too. So allows for a little bit more lateral movement. Uh, you get the rubber overlay in the uh, toe strap as well. So it just grips the end of the boots a lot better. And then you also get the double take buckles that are a um, little bit smoother. They just engage a little quicker. So yeah, just so a little more comfy. Pretty cool. And for that extra little extra money, you're basically getting upgrade, 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 upgrade. Just, you know, <laughs> definitely, you know, kind of worth the bang for the buck on that thing. But, you know, high-end binding that'll, you know, pretty much hang with the best riders out there. Yeah, definitely a team favorite on that one for sure. All right, and then jumping up to the top of the line, Escapade. So uh, this one's coming in at 330, so, you know, just an extra 30 bucks jump from the uh, 
Lexa X, uh, but uh, what are we getting in this one for that extra 30 bucks? Yeah, so this one you're getting a little bit more of like just super high-end features uh, in a binding that's gonna be a little bit more comfortable yet. So uh, Escapade has the same base plate as what the Lexa will have, but has the, um, has the kickback hammock on there where it looks like it has two high backs, but would essentially have your outer high back here, and then you have this hammock on the inside here that really just wraps around the, the shape of your boot. Uh, again, making it super easy for you to like not crank your straps down tight, but uh, response where you need it, but you know, just making it a little bit softer. And then you got the, re uh, the react strap, the, the hammock react strap version. So what it is is you got the spine here that kind of crisscrosses, allows for a little bit more movement. The density of the strap is a little softer. So again, just a little bit more cushiony, um, lat this lateral movement out of it. And then also you get, this is pretty unique. This is the only place in the line you see this. It's called the pod bed. So what you have here is you got like a, uh, kind of like a, pla like a polycarbonate platform and then you have a different density uh, pods on there. So when you're riding on it, it allows your boot to kind of roll into the binding a little bit. But then once you really compress it, that's where that uh, kind of polycarbonate kind of tray kicks in and it really kind of adds response, but otherwise it allows your boot to kind of roll nice and flat in there. Cool, so you get a nice smooth feel, but you don't get a dead feel from edge to edge. Exactly. Perfect. So, yep. So, and again, available in both Reflex and uh, NDSD. Awesome. So. All right, cool. Well, thanks for climbing the women's binding ladder for the Burton 21-22 season. Um, if you got any questions about these bindings um, or any of the other bindings at thehouse.com, leave us some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. Um, definitely want to get you into the best gear possible for your riding style. Um, like, subscribe. Get that bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And uh, yeah, no matter what kind of riding you do, a smooth, easy feel, or getting in that quicker feel, get your bindings mounted up and get out and ride because any day of riding is a good day of riding.